Good morning, fishing friends. Welcome to another episode. Out today to do a little bit of early morning bank fishing. I got some of those new lures y'all just watched in a recent unboxing. We'll see if we can catch anything on those. And if not, I've got some of the old trusties with me as well. Might pitch a Texas rig. Gonna try that swim jig again. It's been working for me. So let's stop talking. Let's get all the gear and go fishing. Oh. There's one. Man, first switch. It's first switch to that little buzzing frog, that new one y'all just seen in an unboxing. First switch, first cast to it. First switch. Look at that. Guess I should have ran that sooner. Tried the plopper over it, nothing. Tried the popper over it, nothing. There we go. Uh, a little over a pound, we'll take him. First one on the day, thanks fish. Oh, little guy. All right, well, first one on the Texas rig. I was hoping maybe some of this flooded brush would have a few. First little dude there on the uh, the old Reaction Innovations Kinky Beaver. Just a little guy. He wouldn't even go a pound, but there we go. One hiding up in the flooded brush. Good spot to look. Thanks for, thanks for biting. Oh, no, go that way. There you go. The old Kinky Beaver, huh? Caught a couple on these the other day with, uh, with Rand Dizzle. It was a pretty slow day. I only caught, I think, like, what, four fish? But my biggest one, probably pound and three quarter, getting close to a couple pounds, came on this, the old Reaction Innovations Kinky Beaver. Looks like, you know, kind of like the regular beaver from, from that point, but it's got these, like, kind of longer claw deals that flap, and then it's got a couple little antenna deals that flap. Pretty cool-looking little uh, creature bait. Seemed to do the deal there for me. See if there's any more up in this. That was just a little fella hiding up amongst all of this flooded brush. That was an awful pitch. Yep, there he is. Nope, nope, nope. Grabbed it and let it go. Must have been a bluegill. There's one. Another little guy. Oh, quick release. Came off. Just a little dude. Surprised I didn't get that fish. Oh, there's a bass right there. Right there. I see a bass. No. <laughs> There we go. Another little guy. Another little dude on the old Texas rig. That's all it's been, little dudes all morning. But that's another fish, not even a pounder. Thanks for playing. All right, well, let's get re-rigged here. See if we can find a couple more on the old submerged wood with the Texas rig. Another log out this way. Oh, there's one. Two on it. Oh, that's a decent one. Best one of the day. There we go. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. All right, there we go. A little bit better. Pound and a half for four. So that's two on the wood. See if we can keep catching one on it. Get back. Boy, in that wood, the only bad thing about that wood is that just gnaws the line. It feels like I have burrs I just recut and retied. That's two fish and two pitches on the old kinky beaver. That's the payback color, I think. I'll check here in a second. Any more on the old wood. Find wood, pitch to wood, bounce it a couple times, and we've found some fish. Looks like a little lay down brush here. Can't pass this up as I'm walking by. Nope. 
there's another there we go that's been the uh, that's been the deal today nothing but Debo dinks on it that's another fish on the old Texas rig look at that and that's a big creature bait a lot of people don't like to throw larger creature baits look at that a little pounder on it they'll eat it all right dude get out yep got one. Oh. <laughs> that little dude hit that as soon as it hit in there. I honestly thought I was caught on a branch right there. Wow. All right. Well, another victim of the old Texas rig kinky beaver by Reaction Innovations. That's all that's been working. That's it. That little dude. Little pounder jumped up through there and grabbed it. All right. Thanks for biting, sir. The crotch of the tree. Did y'all see that? That crotch of that tree where it splits just like that. That's where I threw it. Fish was sitting there. It's such a high percentage spot. There always, always seems to be a fish sitting on the crotch of trees like this where they're laying in the water. Now, as I rig this up here, one little tip with these, like the kinky beaver, or the sweet beaver, any of these reaction innovation things, the middle is just a little bit smaller. So if you're not around a lot of cover, you can just leave it like that. But when I'm pitching and flipping into wood and brush like this, I always take this hook and they call it text posing it or just kind of burying it under the skin off to the side. Off to the side where it's a little bit thicker, you won't rip out that bait as quick and you can just keep switching kind of side to side and it'll last a lot longer. If I would quit breaking off, I probably would have only had to have used one or two, but see if there's any more fish hiding on this. Whoa, look at that water snake. Is that a water snake? I don't know, that thing's big. Ooh. I don't know, couldn't see the eyes. Couldn't really tell by the head. It almost looked like it had that arrow-shaped head. They have an arrow-shaped head, stay away from them. Not good. That dude was a beast. Well, I would say that was a bass. Completely missed it, I was caught on that branch. He took every pincher except for that one little one. Last one, last kinky beaver and payback. Gonna have to put a reaction innovations order in. Need some more of these. These have been working amazing. Darn it. There's the old snake again. Howdy, Mr. Snake. Go somewhere else and eat fish. I'm trying to catch the bass here. All right, fishing friends, that was the end of the trip. I'm gonna go with the excuse that that snake scared off all the fish around me because couldn't find anything else. I only fished for about 20 minutes more. Ended up being like 100 that day, so I ended up calling it, and I lost my last kinky beaver. Now, as you heard in the video, I said I was gonna get some more kinky beavers, and I, uh, I certainly did that. I put a Reaction Innovations order in, and let's just say I'll be doing a Reaction Innovations unboxing here soon. After the last video I was using that, I had a number of people message me and say, I've never heard of the kinky beaver, what is that? Uh, I ordered a number of things from Reaction Innovations, some things uh, a lot of you have probably never seen, some things that are big, these I've actually had for a while, but I'm gonna do an unboxing of all the stuff I got from them because it's some different stuff. I feel like they're a company that flies under the radar. So I'm gonna show you some of that stuff. And I had luck after that. As I was saying, it was a hot day. All I found was some small fish, but that's what happens in the dead of summer when it's hot, bank fishing people are limited. A lot of those big fish are gonna go out, you know, go to that deeper water where it's cooler, gonna go out on structure, offshore humps, bumps, brush, you name it, they're gonna go offshore. Not all the fish though. Um, that day wasn't great fishing, a lot of smaller fish. However, uh, shortly after that, I've had some good luck, found some good sized fish. So for you newer folks out there that struggle with the summer fishing, don't give up. Some days are gonna be tough, they're gonna be a grind, keep fishing. Now, uh, as you saw in this video, I targeted brush. Pitching and flipping a Texas rig around brush is a great way to find fish especially when it's hot out because they're gonna be right up on that cover. They're gonna be somewhat lethargic. So oftentimes you have to be very nice and subtle with your, uh, your pitch and you have to be right on target. That's why flipping and pitching practice is so, so important because you might have a big tree and if you're two feet away from it, that fish is not gonna come out to get it. You know, you might have to hit a little spot the size of a dinner plate, get it right in there next to that fish and they'll grab it. So accuracy 
getting down in the middle of things, you know, getting a, a foot, two, three feet out from cover isn't going to cut it when it gets hot out and you're trying to flip and pitch, uh, you know, pick apart brush and wood like that. So that's going to do it for today. But our subscribe feature friend shout out goes to Lou Kulichi. I hope that's how you say it. Lou, thank you very much for watching and supporting. And thank you, everybody else who watches and supports. We just recently passed 75,000 subscribers. 75,000. I had a dream in the first couple years that I would maybe hit 5,000. That was like, that was a far off dream. I've surpassed that. And that's all thanks to you all. It's not because of me. If all you didn't watch, my videos would be useless. I'd be some bearded guy in a basement shooting videos. So thank you all so very much for watching. It means a tons to me. I've got a bunch of videos coming down the pipe. Um, I've got the Reaction Innovations unboxing. I grabbed a couple more things from Tackle Warehouse. And that's probably going to be it on the unboxings for a little bit. But who knows? Got some more fish and stuff. All kinds of fun stuff planned. So thank you all very much for watching. It means a lot to me. I got to edit. So thanks for watching. And until next time.